we always talk about Overwatch being about soldiers, scientists, adventures, and oddities. Orisa evolves and pushes the boundaries of what the Overwatch universe could be. A lot of the characters of Overwatch come from many different places. Sometimes it's from design, sometimes it's from story, sometimes it starts with the art. We talked a lot about introducing another, what we like to call, anchor tank. Reinhardt is one of the only characters that can really sort of stand his ground and mark a spot and move with his team real slow. So we thought there was a great opportunity there for another option. Arissa was amazing almost from the earliest prototypes. While I was testing and iterating all these ideas, I was actually using one of Zarya's alternate skins internally to make it so it wasn't too confusing if Zarya was in the game, just so we could test it. We see a gothic Zarya adds to it Bastion's cannon. It was just a combination of cobbled together parts but it was instantly fun, and that's how we knew we were onto a good hero. With Arissa, she pretty quickly took on a life of her own, of course, which is great. The look of Arissa really spawned from the idea of wanting to do an African mech. We have a map called Numbani, which is in Africa, and Numbani being one of the more futuristic cities we have in Overwatch, with the curved shapes and like the greens and yellows and earth tones, we really wanted that to carry through into Arissa's design. One of the things that we haven't done yet was a quadruped. There's a whole ecology of kind of Omnic units back from the Omnic crisis that are three legs, four legs, five legs, you name it. So we wanted to kind of explore what other archetypes Overwatch could have. My name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. Orisa is a current guardian of Nimbani. Technically, she's like the youngest member, if you want to say that. She's kind of new to her role as a hero, and she doesn't really know her place in the world yet. She's the creation of this brilliant 11-year-old engineer named Ify. She wants this robot to protect her city. And I think once we saw that character, it really helped to cement, like, I get it. This is the girl who made this robot. I could see the creator who built it, and I think that really helped to bring her to life. We're sort of debuting her at a very early state in her career as a character. And I think it'll be interesting to watch that progression. Um, hopefully we'll be able to tell that story in uh, one way or another. I think she's a core character to the Overwatch lineup in terms of gameplay mechanics and functionality. She kind of has the ability to transform games in, in ways that very few heroes can. She's going to serve a really unique role in Overwatch.